mandatory dormitories for Congress could soon come back here's why. Democratic Socialist New York Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has resurrected a decades-old argument over congressional housing. Immediately upon arriving on the Hill, she started whining about not being able to afford an apartment in D.C. She stated she was squirreling away money until she starts receiving her congressional salary of $174,000 in January. Proposals for a dormitory for congressional members was put forth. It's ironic Skyping is not brought up for these politicians. It would save time, costs, and hassle to have them primarily Skype in for their work unless they are physically needed in D.C. Of course, liberals are claiming the cost is squeezing middle-class people out of office, but Ocasio-Cortez comes from a fairly well-to-do family. The Daily Caller has more on this political problem. The difficulties some members of Congress have affording housing are again front and center because of November 8 comments from Democratic New York Republic-elect Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez about making rent. Her comments about squirreling away money until she starts receiving her congressional salary of $174,000 in January reignited debate on the issue that has included proposals to allocate living expenses for members of Congress or even build a dormitory for them. Trending Ocasio-Cortez picks fight with Fox News, guess who won? I have three months without a salary before I'm a member of Congress, so how do I get an apartment? Ocasio-Cortez said to the New York Times earlier in November. Those little things are very real. I've really been just kind of squirreling away and then hoping that gets me to January. Ocasio-Cortez's comments received mixed reactions amid reports that she had more in savings than her average fellow millennial, reported Market Watch. But the young incoming congresswoman brought up the quandaries that members of Congress